Yeah. No, I didn't grab a jacket. Forty, Millbank Row. Millbank. Millbank, all one word. How would you spell it? M I L L B A N K. Okay. It's Mainville, Ohio. Fairfield. No, it's Mainville. 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 M A I N E V I L L E. Four five zero three nine is a zip. It's 513 509 0922. 09 02. 02. 02? Yes. 513 509 0922. Okay. The name of the road, spell that for me again. Millbank, M I L L B A N K. Yeah, we, we, uh, we're starting. We just started. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, there was a... Probably. All right, it's James. Is that correct? James Rutherford? Yes. Okay. I'm Sergeant Sean Trussell. This is Deputy Scott Mullen, Dark County Sheriff's Office here, okay? Okay. Um, you've been read your rights out the scene when you was arrested, okay? And you understand those rights, correct? Okay, and you understand that those rights are still in effect at this time while we're talking to you, okay? Um, first off, I just want to start by getting, confirming your personal information, okay? Yes, sir. It's James M. Rutherford, is that correct? Can you answer me yes or no? Yes, Instead sir. of a nod? Yeah. Thank you. Is your current address 3 View Drive? No. Order 3? What's your current address? Uh, 2940 Mill Bank Road. Mill Bank? Mill, M I L L Bank. Okay. Mainville, Ohio. Mainville? Mainville, yes, sir. Is that M A I N? I N E. Okay. What's the zip code there? 45039. You got a phone there? No, it's my cell. It's the only thing I got. Okay, what's your cell? 513-509-0922. And your social is 316-84-8653? That's correct. And your birthday, uh, February 14th? Yes. Of 80? Yes, sir. Okay. You work anywhere? Where do you work at? St. Margaret of York School. Are you a teacher there? What grade you teach? Sixth. Uh, 
Um, the reason we have it here is because we have some chat logs. Yeah, I talked to the guy, the thing, about it. Okay. And we kind of want to sit down and talk to you about it, okay? Yes, sir. Um, is the chat name that you used? I.U. Rutherford. I.U. Rutherford. Yes, sir. Can I ask if I'm being charged? Is that fair? Or? Um, yes. You're going to be looking at charges. What charges? Um, right now, so once we talk and we go through everything, uh, just depending on okay. what your belief was, what was actually said and everything else, and what actually occurred. Yes, okay. As soon as we get done here, I'll let you know the exact charges against you. Okay. Okay. Um, what was the uh, screen name of the person you was talking to? Do you remember? I really actually don't know. I'd say Princess Danica. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? It. That's it. Are you guys, should I have my lawyer? Uh, that I cannot answer for you. You do have a right to an attorney, as you are advised in your rights. <clears throat> did Did they ever advise what What name did you think her real name was? The Danica. Danica. Yeah. Okay. How old did you believe this female to be? I think she said 13 or 14. I couldn't remember. Okay. Um, I guess the first question I'll ask you is what brought you to the address on 5K Avenue? I don't know. What was you? What did you believe was going to happen when you got there? Honestly, nothing. Okay. I I had decided long ago that I wasn't going to do anything physical with the kid. Mm -hmm. I really did. I know it's probably hard for you to believe, but I didn't even really want to come. I told the guy over there I don't know why I was coming. I my my mind's only stopped. She's a kid. I am a teacher. I've never done anything like this before, and I just kept driving. But I decided long before I got here that I'm not going to do anything with her. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch her. I'm not going to violate her. She's a kid. Mm -hmm. But in your log, you I talked know. about performing sexual acts together. Is that I right? I talked about kissing. Mm -hmm. And I talked about kissing. Okay. Anything else? I don't think. I don't know. I know I you thought. talked about her dressing slutty and that she was a virgin, is that right? Did I? Yeah. I don't even remember asking that, honestly. You told her that you'd show her your butt. Is that correct? I really don't remember, sir. Okay. I know it was wrong. She said quite a few things, mm -hmm. but I don't think I ever said anything beyond what I just told you. Mm -hmm. You did. Did I? Mm -hmm. What did I say? Maybe I'll tell you in just a minute. Up here you're talking about... You asked her if she'd make you take your shirt off. Yeah. And that you said you wanted to take hers off. And that you would get to see her with her shirt off. And then you asked her if she would want you to take anything else off. And then you asked her once she had you naked, what would she do with you? And... She said she didn't know she been naked. She'd never been naked with a man before. And you said, "Ha ha, would you take anything off but your shirt?" And she said, "Yeah." And you said, "What?" She said, "Her bra." 
And you asked if she would let you kiss her boobs and her tummy. And then you said down here that you're so freaking horny. And you know if you had me naked, I'd want more, right? And then you asked if that would bother, bother her. I wasn't insinuating that I would make her do more, sir. And then you ask her if she means to have sex, and she said yes. Yeah, she started that, though. I believe, sir. So you want me to believe that you talk about being horny, and then you ask her how horny she is and if she's wet, and then you say you want to have fun with her. I mean, I was planning on it, sir. And you talked here about letting her see more on your cam. That you really thought about sending more. That you was going to be naughty. And then down here you asked what she was wearing. She says jean and tank tops. You said cute. And then you asked anything else and she said socks. And you laughed out loud. And then she said underwear and then you asked no panties. And then you said oh okay. So you're wondering what kind of clothes this 13 year old kid's wearing. Asking her if she's horny, telling her that you're horny. I guess my question to you is, throughout this whole thing and the talking um, and things that you said, there's pretty much a belief that you guys were going to kiss, get naked, and then it could lead elsewhere. Not really. Not really? You didn't take that by what you put in here? Sir, I never intended when I was saying all that to actually come up here today. But you did come up here? Yes, sir. Okay. And I didn't. So whether you made an that. intent to come up here or not, I know, I know it's you still type this stuff, right? Yes, sir. And you had the belief that if you come up here, there's a chance that you guys were going to have sex. I wasn't going to have sex with her, sir. In okay. fact, I don't think she mentioned it. And I said, you mean sex. So you're telling me you didn't believe one bit you were going to come up here and have sex no, with her? No, sir, I did not. No, sir. I know it looks like that, I'm sure. But no, sir. Very not. So if you didn't think you're coming up here to have sex, what do you think you're coming up here for? Honestly, and I, I know you guys haven't seen what I discussed with Mr. Gaffer in DC. Mm -hmm. I I don't know why I decided to come up. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be saying this without a lawyer, but I, I don't know. I decided long before I even got here though that I wasn't gonna do anything physical with her. But before you made that decision. There was a belief that something physical was going to happen, even though you changed your mind. No, sir. And you said that. In fact, I wasn't. You changed even, your mind. I wasn't even going to come up, and I even called her. Why did you come? 
I don't know. I even called her and said, you know, I'm not really comfortable with this. You're way too young. And she said, come anyway. We'll just hang out. I don't know if you guys have logs on my phone calls, but that's, that is what happened. I, in fact, turned around and was heading home, and I said, I don't think I'm going to come. I don't feel comfortable with this. I mean, I don't know if you can check that or not. And she said, no, come up. We'll have fun. I'm, I was just looking forward to hanging out, whatever. And I went home and thought, this is dumb. I shouldn't go. But if I drive up and just hang out, I'm not going to do anything. I'll drive home. What did you anticipate you were going to have a call with this girl? I don't know. That's one of the reasons why I didn't know why I was coming. I mean, judging by what you guys chatted with, it looks to me like there's only one reason. Only one thing you could have in common with this girl. That wasn't. I mean, we didn't start off, at least, I don't even know when I met that girl. It was just randomly in an Ohio adult room. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I even said, you know, I'm a lot older than you. I mean, do you think you'd have anything in common with this girl? Is this a girl you wanted to date? No, hell no. I didn't even want anything physical by the time I got here, sir. And she's 13. I didn't want to date her. I didn't... I mean, obviously... Obviously, there were sexual thoughts. There were. I'm all... I mean, by what you... What you typed, I mean, that, that's... You know, obviously, but... When, yeah, at sir, what I point did you, did, did you lose those thoughts? I mean, at what point did you think that those thoughts were... When it became real, when I was coming up here, I thought this is not a good idea. So you were like halfway here and thought, what yeah, would I do? I told the guys over there, I almost turned off and just went to the date in Air Force Museum. I think I just... Was that about when you started thinking, this is a bad idea? No, no. And as soon as she said it yesterday, I thought, uh, I mean, on the internet, it's almost like it's a fantasy, like it's not real, I think. Mm-hmm. And it kind of got real, and I thought, what, I don't even want to. That's stupid. And I don't know why I decided to come. It, I didn't really want to. Well, you must want to somewhat, or else you wouldn't be here now, right? I think it was just, I, I don't know, I'm going, it's, it, uh, it won't matter to you, but I actually just found out a couple of days ago I'm getting divorced. Um, and I've just been trying to stay out of the house and stay busy, and I think I was just, I had nothing else to do today. I thought, well, I'll drive up there if nothing else, and if I, I even thought maybe I'll get here and turn around. But if nothing else, it was a couple hours, I could just be out of the house, driving my car, whatever. And here you talk about that you'd love to see you. See her and like bra and panties. Yeah, I remember saying that. Hmm? I remember saying that. Okay. I think I said even yep. something about her laying on top of me. Yep. You said you like her said, laying on top of you, kissing you. That was like kind of grinding. That was like a an online fantasy. I never really intended for it to happen. I know you're. But not. you had fantasies that there was sex with this. Not sex, no sir. No sir. I don't. I never said let's let's have sex, sir. Well, I guess I don't understand why a gentleman, how old are you? 26, sir. 26, school teacher, would even have any any thought of wanting to meet a 13-year-old girl. You know what? And go hang out. You know what? I don't either. I told those guys over there. Why a 26-year-old male would type the things that he taught to a 13-year-old girl, asking her? I don't know, sir. Listen to me a minute. Asking her what she was wearing, if she's wet. Um, talking about her wearing her bra, her laying on top of you, you guys grinding. That's know. things that a 26-year-old male does not say to a 13-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. Unless you have ideas or thoughts that sexual acts could happen. Sir, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I Okay, with you, with you hearing everything I told you, <clears throat> would you believe that the thought was... Oh, I know. If I was in your shoes, hell no. I wouldn't believe a word I'm saying. You would believe that your, that eye, your was, whole plan was to come up here and have sex? Yeah, I, if I was you, yes, sir. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. But that's not... That really wasn't my intention. Well, I guess I still don't figure and understand your intention. You still come to the house. Yes, sir. 
it's still you sort didn't of turn sort around. Of, you didn't drive away. I don't know why. You came I to the house to, anyway. I should have. And I didn't. I don't know why. I wasn't going to have sex. I wasn't even going to touch her. So what was your intention when you got here? What was you going to do? I mean, I called her and she's like, I'm just going to watch a movie. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll watch a movie with her. I mean, up until that point, I still hadn't decided if I was in it. And you knew she was home alone. Is that correct? Yeah, I think she said that. So. Okay. So all those put together, I mean, you just... I know it doesn't look good. You expect good. me to believe that nothing was going to happen or you didn't want to want anything Do I to expect happen? you to believe it? You believe what you want, frankly. Do you have any remote belief or fantasy that something would happen? Sir, I'm wrong, You kids. did earlier and prior. Sir, online, it doesn't seem real. It's like I'm talking to people that aren't real. But online, you still know that she's a 13-year-old female. Like I said, So sir. why, even if it's not real, would you say those things to a 13-year-old female? It's all f***ed up in the head, apparently. That's the only explanation I can give you, is that I... Have you ever talked to a minor before on the internet? I'd rather not answer that, sir. Have you ever had any prior charges no, of sir. anything? No, sir. And I've never done this before. Okay. I've never met a minor. I don't know. Have you chatted with a minor before? So, uh, yes, I have. Okay, how many times? I have no idea. The internet's been around since I was a minor. Okay. When you say you have no idea, so you're saying many times you've I chatted with I minors. chat with whoever on there. Okay. I mean, I just hang out. But and you have chat chatted with minors yes, of what age? I don't know. 13 year olds before? Probably. 12 year olds? I don't, I don't like going that low on kids. So you stay 13? Usually, have you ever mentioned sir, the um, stuff you mentioned in here before? Sir, usually when I chat to people, they're 18, 19, 20 years old, closer to my age. Okay, but it's not the first time you chatted with a 13-year-old. Sir, no, it's not. And have you made sexual comments to these others? Yes, sir. You have? Okay. And have you ever met with them? No, sir. Is it more of a, you say these things because you want to excite yourself to fulfill your needs while you're there? You fantasize while you're sitting there of what you could be doing with this, even though you're on the other side of the computer. You're saying these things to gratify yourself. Yeah, there was never any intention to cross that line any, any time. Even yesterday, I know it. Okay. But I guess I just... I know. I'm, I'm here to help you, okay? I hope you can. And, and I think you do have a problem. Obviously. And you've admitted that, okay? That you have talked to minors before, 13 years of age. That you say the things you say because of your sexual gratification. Do you masturbate while you're doing this? Sometimes. Okay. I have, yeah. So you're so driven by this, okay? But sir, it's not okay, like... Okay, just it's, listen to me a minute. No, okay. I think I, I feel like I should at least tell you. It's not like it's... I go on there specifically looking for little kids. Okay, and I'm not saying that's all you look for, okay? But you're doing this, okay? Yes. For your sexual gratification. I you know. say you know it's wrong, but what concerns me is you go ahead and drive up here knowing this 13-year-old is home alone by herself... Her parents are not around. You admit to writing the things in here and getting your sexual gratification out of it at home, but you expect me to believe that you didn't have any beliefs of anything. You know, I almost, to visit her. <laughs> I almost called her and said, you know, what are you doing? Why are you inviting a 26-year-old guy to your house? Okay. That crossed my mind. But almost and doing are two different oh, things, and you still went through with it. I know. You still come to visit her. You pull right in, you walk right in to go see her. Yes, sir. The only way we can help you is, I mean, for you to be honest. How are you going to help me, sir? What we can talk you with do? our prosecutor and everything else. I know what Even I was doing. Even though you're pretty much doing everything and saying the things you're saying for your gratification at home. Exactly. I know there's things that I shouldn't have done in the past on the Internet. Um, as far as chatting with people 
other miners. Other miners, seeing them on camera. Have you ever set set nude pictures or anything of yourself? I've been on camera before. Okay, nude. Yes, but that wasn't. It was usually for older people. Okay. But is there a remote possibility you've ever sent a new picture to a minor? It's possible. Some people might lie about their age too. Okay. When I know her, I think I, you know, I just, just she saw me with my shirt off and stuff. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. She never saw me naked. What What are these pills that you have with you? They're just Advil. I had. I went out last night. And I had a headache. They're just Advil. Yes, sir. A generic wall profen or something. Okay. Do you have any pictures or anything on your phone? No, it's not even a camera phone. Is it a camera? You care if I look? Go ahead. said I wasn't intending on really doing anything. Any uh, choreographed pictures? No, sir. Okay. You mind if we take a look through that then? Go ahead. You said my car. It's fine. Okay. Say it's 98. Yes, sir. Did anybody else know that you were coming up here today? Just you? And have you ever had any phone conversation with, with who you believe, Danica? Just today. It was the first time I ever talked to you. Today uh, on your way up here? No, even before that, this morning, I called her and said, I don't know if I'm going to come or not. I don't really think it's, like I said, I even turned around once and called her and said, I don't really feel comfortable with this. But you still come? Well, she said, well, come and we'll just hang out. Thought, well, if we're just hanging out. Do you think it's right for a 26-year-old to hang out with a 13-year-old child, even if it's just sitting just and watching out, a watching movie? Me? No, probably not. And you came from? Mainville. Cincinnati. That was Cincinnati. So, do you feel that's odd? A 26-year-old man drives all the way from Cincinnati up here to sit and watch a movie with a 13-year-old? Oh, yeah. I do. I'm not saying I don't need help. I'm not saying there's not something wrong with me. What do you think is wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I've done that stuff. I've thought about getting help in the past. And I honestly just never thought I could open up to a stranger, a psychiatrist. So how long have you been doing this? Well, like I said, I mean, the Internet's been around since I was 12, 13. I've always chatted on there. But how long have you think you've been I chatting with I can't minors? Give you, I can't give you specifics. I guess, since, gratification. I guess since Last year, I was no longer a minor. I mean, I've always chatted to people. It wasn't always minors. Right. I don't know. I can't give you any specific dates, honestly. I'm not going to lie in... Um, I've chatted to... Do you enjoy talking to the minor, though, for your gratification? It wasn't just the minors. It was just girls in general. Okay. So, either it's a minor or a female, but it's to get your gratification. Basically, that's all it was for, sir. It was personal. It wasn't that I wanted anything else, ever. Okay. But the concern we have is that you've come all the way from Cincinnati. I know. I know. After everything you said for your gratification. I know it doesn't look good. You've come all the way up here and you've met or tried to meet with a 13-year-old female. I can't, uh, I can't explain it. I wish I could. I wish I knew why I was like this and what was wrong with me. I really had thought about getting help in the past, and I thought maybe I had gotten over some of that. In fact, I, mean, I, I deleted a lot of people that I chatted to once in a while. I stopped getting on there for a while, and then I started up again. I thought I could beat it on my own, and just apparently I just didn't have the willpower, sir. I mean, when you get online with these people and you start talking, what's it make you want to do? Nothing. 
I mean, I have never, ever crossed the line with one of my students or anything. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's never even really crossed my mind. Have you ever chatted with one of your students? No, no, no. Never, never would have done anything to any of them. Never would have ever, and you know, attempted it. I think really, when it was online, it was more of a fantasy. Like this isn't real. But in real life, I never wanted that. And even today, I don't know why I came up. I don't know what made me do it. I wish I could tell you. I know you probably think I'm full of but So if you would have got here and you would have walked in and there's a 13-year-old girl standing there in her bra and panties, what would have happened? What would you have done? It's speculative. I don't know. I didn't think that was going to happen. You didn't think that? No, sir. Please understand. It's in your chat log, isn't it? So you can't tell me you didn't have a belief that that could have happened. Am I correct? It was Listerine strips. Uh, you know, it crossed my mind. There was a thought there that that could have happened. I didn't think it was going to. Okay. And I didn't want it to. you got to believe me on that. I didn't want to have sex with her. I didn't even want to kiss her. I didn't really want to do anything. I just wanted to hang out with somebody to take my mind off of my life right now. I just wanted to hang out with somebody that I could talk to. I mean, when I met the girl, I told her, you know, I'm married. And then this week, I was venting to her about, well, whoever I was talking to, about getting a divorce. I mean, I just, I don't know. I know that sounds like bull, but... And your question, I don't know. I don't know if that's a fair question. That's not really what I thought was going to end up happening. But my question to you is, what if you come up here, and we weren't here, and they weren't doing what they were doing, and there was actually a 13-year-old girl in that house that was waiting on you, and just her bras, and just her panties? I'm telling you, bottom of my heart, I wouldn't have done anything. I've never done something like that with a kid. You've never done something like that. I know you're you saying, went ahead and I come know up here. The studies show that you know one thing leads to another with sexual predators. Apparently, that's what I am. I never thought I was. I wouldn't. Have. Like I said, I don't know why I'm here. On your whole way up, on your whole drive up here, when you're thinking about all this, are you thinking to yourself, man, if I show up here? And she's like this, what's going to happen? Or did you play this through your mind? I mean, you're telling yourself, I didn't want to do this. I'm telling myself. But by doing this, me. you know what? You Listen to me. You know what you're saying to her. You know what she's saying to you. You can't tell me that's not going through your mind the whole way up here from Cincinnati. Yes, sir. It was. Lots of different things went through my mind. What was going through your mind? And the conclusion I always came to was, I am not going to touch this kid. Okay. But what else was going through your mind? What do you mean? I mean, what else? You're thinking about what she told you, how she's going to be dressed, or things you're going yeah, to do? Tell me what. Actually, I guess she did, but uh, I wasn't going to. There was a belief that she could have been in her rolls and panties. No. Am I correct? She never said she was going to greet me in her underwear. Okay. But you talk about getting on top of each yes, other, I know. not having shirts on, I know. Uh, grinding on each other. That was on there. That wasn't what I was going to do in real life. Okay, but there's that chance that that could have happened, right? No. No. No, I'm, I, I know you're looking at me and thinking I'm full of it. But if you showed no. up and walked through that door and there's no. a 13-year-old like that, no, there wouldn't have never been a chance for that to happen. Sir, no. I'm telling you right now. I mean, you're asking me. Don't, don't try to make me tell you something that's not true. No. The whole way up here, I thought... If, if something, she, she tries to, I'm not going to do it. It's not right. It's real life, and it's not going to happen. I'm, I know you don't believe me, but no. I'm sorry. No. So what, you were writing in there, was that right? Oh, hell no. Obviously not. But you did that anyway. Yes. And then you're on your way up here, so you came halfway on that one. I wasn't going to To make the trip up here. You I see what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. So I mean, why, why even put yourself in that situation? I don't know. Why did you even drive all the way up here? 
In fact, I wondered if this was some such setup the second she said it. I thought I'd be a fool to put myself in that situation. And I'm a fool. Was there anything else you think you need to tell us or let us know about? My what? Where's, where's the computer at that you were using to chat back and forth? In my house. Okay. And right now you live there by yourself? Yeah, my wife moved out. Okay. Why? Why do I want to know where your computer is at? I'm just asking where, where you was at at the time when you were doing this. Um. Take this right now. It's on there as far as pictures. So I don't need that. Okay. And now what? Now what? Why not? Why not? What are you having computers? Yeah, they've been taking them away. What do you mean? Uh, is there any pictures of anybody under age? I don't care. There is. Probably. That way we have it. There is. Nude pictures? Okay, I think so. There's no nude pictures of any man or underage? Honestly, I don't worry. Did you talk to? A uh, couple of people on there. I mean, there might be an underwear or something. I don't think there's any nude. I could be wrong. I, I don't think I've ever had anything or kept anything like that. Okay. Have you received that? Well, like people have sent it, and I always just said no, delete it. Okay. Um, any, any, uh, so I hope not. Okay. Maybe, but I don't think. Are you like 50 50 on that? Probably. So there's it's a possibility. probably a decent chance that there is. I mean, you're kind of coin, to coin toss at this point. Yeah. Okay. If there is, I don't know. Is there any minors on there? That's what I said. I mean, there are probably people that are minors. I don't think there's any nude pictures. I mean, it's just all this is a picture of me. Okay. Some of them have sent. Provocative pictures, like I'm wearing right. things. Okay. It might be on there. I don't think. And these are minors that have sent you this? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, and I'm telling you, it was probably two months ago. I said, I don't know what I'm doing. And I had pictures at that time and stuff. And I deleted everything, deleted all the people off my friends list. I said, I've got to quit doing this. I'm hurting myself and I'm going to hurt somebody else. And I just wasn't strong enough to not do it. How many miners have you been talking with here? I don't know. When you deleted everything, how many miners were you talking to at that time? I don't know. Five, ten, fifteen? I don't know. More? I don't know. I mean, usually I only talk to a person once or twice and then never talk to them again. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I had ongoing relationships with anybody except a couple of people that I've talked to for years. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in your vehicle we need to know about? No, sir, nothing. You don't have anything hidden in there anywhere or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. And you're going to give us consent to search that? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Search free motor vehicle, okay? You said that the roof should only find anything in there, though, right? Okay. Did your wife know that you had this problem? Did she know that you talked to minors or anything? No, this had nothing to do with it. It was her mind. Okay. That's why I wanted to stop. It was for her. One of the biggest reasons. So you're making it sound like 
and I'm not trying to say you're a bad person, but that... I'm a bad person, sir. But that this has been happening for a good while now. Because yeah, you have uh, concerns about... Myself. ...what's going on or what's driving right. you. Is your concerns of, where's this leading me to? That was kind of... I mean, I really never, honestly, even today, didn't intend anything to happen. But that was one of the things I, I, I thought... I quit doing it on my own, and I thought I should maybe get some help, but I never thought I could talk to somebody about it. But with your actions and what keeps going and you keep doing more and more, I mean, is there a concern there that... That's why I was thinking about getting help. That this is going to lead to more? That it's going to get more serious? I really never thought it would. I really never thought it would. What's your thought now? I still don't think it would have. But well, you're still coming know, and you're visiting a 13-year-old girl. Sir, I know. I know. I know. I know. I but I don't think I would have done it. Deep down in my heart. All right. What I'm going to do is read this to you here. Okay. And then I will cut you and let you sign it. The undersign, which is you residing at 29... 40 Millbank Road, Mainville, Ohio, was hereby volunteer authorized Deputy J.S. Mullen and other officers he may designate to assist him to search, and I crossed this out, your okay. residence, okay, to search my motor vehicle, namely my 98 Chevrolet Corvette, bearing license plate number DHX2176 of the state of Ohio, presently parked at the Dark County impound lot. Okay, and I further authorize said officers to remove from my. I'll cross that out and that out. Remove from my motor vehicle whatever documents or items of property whatsoever which they deem pertinent to their investigation, with the understanding that said officers will give me a receipt for whatever is removed. And I'm giving this written permission to these officers freely and voluntarily without any threats or promises, having been made. And after having been informed by said officer that I have a right to refuse the search and or seizure. Okay? Sir, it's fine. Okay. Are you right handed or left handed? Right handed. Can you stand up? these loose, but our policy I didn't put them back here. Especially since we're in a vehicle without a cage. Okay. Now what? Right now you're gonna be charged with attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. Can I have a lawyer? Okay. I have a lawyer. You will have a chance to call him if that's what you wish. Oh, I mean I don't have a personal lawyer. Somebody yeah. has to I mean I you'll be arraigned come Monday morning and they'll explain to you as far as uh, what your charges are and whether you seek court, court appointed counseling or what, I'll explain all that to you. Then. So I'll be in custody? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm.
What's your head in me? Have any piercing or jewelry on your body? My tongue. Is it a nail? Yes. Okay. Advil. Advil? Yes. My name is me. It's your name? Yes. Okay. You have any money in your wallet? Three dollars. Take your index fingers, place them on the inside of your mouth, pull down on your lip, run it all the way through the back, do the same with the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and remove your jacket for me. Okay. I have you remove your tennis shoes one shoe at a time, and your socks in the wrong side out when you pull them off. Hand the shoes up to me. Okay, we'll 
see the bottom of your left foot, wiggle your toes, do the same with the right. No more piercings on your body or anything like that. Go ahead and resume the position on the wall. <clears throat> Maybe we'll anything like that. Go ahead and slide those singles on for me. Grab your shoes and your jacket. Have a seat there in that green chair. Your hands over, right? Okay, I'm Deputy Realtor. I'm in the Sheriff's Office. I'm in charge of the impound lot and also in charge of the property room. Car's been impounded back here at the Sheriff's Office. It can be released from tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. If anybody you can call to come and get it or whatever. There is a uh, tow bill due $80 and there's going to be storage fees for $5 for today and tomorrow. Um, if by any chance I do get released, can no. I take it out? Yeah, as long as you can pay your pay is that stuff before you get it. credit done. card work. I don't know. I don't take that kind of stuff. We did take one thing out of your car. It's a plastic bag. Or I would put it in a plastic bag. It's a handwritten uh, to directions house, to the yeah. house where you were at. This will put in your property room. It's a receipt showing that. Do you have any questions about your car, the impound, or the, this property? Okay. Good luck to you. What's your last name, sir? Rutherford. First name? James. Middle name? Maurice. M A R I C E. M A U R I C E. M A U R I C E. Mother's maiden name. Deal. D I E H L. And city. And what city were you born in? Cincinnati. And what's your address? Twenty nine forty Mill Bank Road. All one word. Mill Bank, M I L L? Yeah, Bank, B N K. Mainville, Ohio. M A I N? M A I N E, Bill, B I L L E. Zip code there. 45039. Phone number including area code? 513 509 0922. Married, divorced, single, separated? Um, separated, I guess, technically not. And do you have any kids? No. What's the highest level of education that you completed? College. College degree. All four? Okay. And what was the last college that you attended? Indiana University. Do you have an attorney? No, I don't. Do I request one from you or what? No, they'll take care of that in court. If you just have a particular attorney that you know of right now, we go ahead and list that.
were? St. Margaret of York School. St. Margaret? Of York, you said? Yes. And the address? I have no idea, sir. You know what street's on? Columbia. What city is that? Mainville. Well, Loveland. Loveland? Loveland, yes. Ohio? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there a zip code there? Uh, 45140, I believe. Was a teacher. You have another phone number there? No, it's in my cell phone. How's your hair, Brown? Are you? Five eight. And what do you weigh? One sixty five and seventy. Come on. Do you wear glasses or contacts at any time? I need you to put your initials right there, stating that that is your pants and that's the correct number. You got a tattoo along your back. It's a baby Grim Reaper. going to be Rutherford. First name is James. All right. Need to make any phone calls? Yes, I'm gonna have to call my parents. Okay. If you'd like to, go ahead. Right there's the phone. We'll pick. have to do it with everybody else here. All you gotta do is pick it up and listen to the directions, okay? You guys get a little for this, four, please. Uh, my mom's heart broke down here. Hmm. Yeah, too. 
we were just running a town. And that should be the next one. Maybe it should all make them pop up. Yeah. We just kind of wrote these down so we can just scratch them off as we go. So I don't have to wait. What if nobody answers? We can drive back a little while. Maybe turn to your left. Turn to your right. Okay, picture of the tattoo on your back. I need a picture of it here. Do you have any other major scars or marks on your body? Um, I like scar on my knee, that's it. What happened to your knee? Uh, ACL reconstruction. Okay, go ahead and lift your pant leg there for me if you can. that we're going to be issuing you while you're here in jail. If you read down here at this plant, any item that's issued to you, you're responsible for that item. Anything should be broken, defaced, misplaced, whatever you're responsible for. Okay? Make sure everything that's on this list stays in your possession. This sheet here is stating that you have insurance through Anthem, correct? Okay. If you need any kind of medical attention, we'll ensure that you get it. We'll bill your insurance down. Okay. And so I'm here, and here this is fine. Okay, I got a series of medical questions that I need to go through with you, okay? Yes. Do you have any allergies? I'm allergic to nuts. I'm sorry? Nuts. Nuts? Yeah. Any kind of nuts? 
Um, dust, I mean, there's different a dust, to I'm allergic to pan, uh, animal dander. Um, I can eat peanuts, I just can't eat other nuts. Okay, that's that's why there's some people that are just allergic to the nuts themselves, there's other people that are allergic to the dust from the powder no, from, I don't, I, from the nuts. I don't know. I mean, okay. So basically, it's just the nuts. Okay. Anything else? No. Arthritis? No. Asthma? Yes. Use an inhaler? What type of inhaler do you use? A bureau. You have any sort of dental problems? No. You suffer from withdrawals of DTs? No. Diabetes? No. Epilepsy? No. Fainting spells? No. Do you have a doctor prescribed diet? No. Any urinary tract problems? Ulcers? No. Venereal disease? No. Have you ever tested positive for AIDS, tuberculosis, or hepatitis? No. Any type of heart or high blood pressure problems? Are you being treated for any mental health problems? Have you ever tried to kill or harm yourself? Are you feeling suicidal right now? Are you taking any medication? Uh, yeah, Advair. On top of the albuterol, Advair. Advair? Yeah. And Allegra. Allegra? Yes, sir. Anything else? No. Advair and Allegra. Um, are either those prescription? Uh, Who uh, prescribed your medication? Uh, it's a Dr. Bernstein. Bernstein? Yeah. Do you have any other medical problems that I need to know about? That's all. Do you, do you use alcohol? What do you drink when you do? Beer. 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 And how often do you drink when you do? Not very. Once a week, once a month? Once a week. Alcoholic beverages. Last night. Do you use any sort of street drugs? Fifty. Okay. Thank you. You have medical insurance, right? What's the name of the company? It's Anthem. What's your name? Charlene Rutherford. And address? Uh, 23299 Brightwoods Drive. Two words or one? One. This was a scar? Yeah. sheets information that we just went over with. This is all your personal information about you, your home address, things like that, your scars, mark tattoos, and what your charges are. And signature the ads. Okay. This is all the items that you came in with, from clothing down to your money. You have three dollars. And this is a medical questionnaire, all the medical questions we ask you about, your allergies, things like that. I'm going to take a trip from you there. I have the data. 
You guys have my cell phone that I can look up my mom's cell phone number? No, uh, cell phones have been seized as evidence, so I don't have them. Or have I'm access to them. They're not home. Um, that won't make calls to the cell phone anyway. They oh. can't accept to collect calls on them. Um, it's most cell phones that doesn't work. Yeah. See your signature right here. Yeah. 